Do you ever feel like manifestation is just another thing on your to-do list that you don't have time for? Like your spiritual practice is something that you have to do? Honestly, you're not alone because I felt that way too. Something that's really changed my relationship with manifestation is blending it into my lifestyle so that no matter what I'm doing, I'm also manifesting. I call this manifestation as a lifestyle and it single-handedly made the entire manifestation journey more enjoyable for me and I've seen my desires show up with a lot more ease. Manifesting as a lifestyle has made manifestation go from feeling like a task to something I just naturally do because it's who I am. If you'd like to learn more about this, I've created a step-by-step guide for you. I'll link it in my show notes so you can check it out. Hey love, welcome to Affirm It Express, the mini series within the podcast that's all about giving you a quick spiritual boost. In each episode, I'll share affirmations or a quick tip to help you stay in your best energy. So let's get to the good stuff and affirm it together. Hi everyone and welcome back to Affirm It Express. Today I'm sharing some affirmations about taking intentional action. So if you missed this week's episode, this week's kind of full episode that came out on Tuesday, I talked a lot about the power of taking action. And I know everyone talks about taking action. It is kind of annoying. It's kind of frustrating. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? And the best way to kind of explain is anything like action is energy in motion. Even if your actions have nothing to do with what you're manifesting, say you're manifesting your soulmate and you're like, I don't want to go on a dating app. What action do I take? Take an action of giving yourself love. Take an, take an action of taking care of yourself. It doesn't have to be anything related to manifesting your soulmate. Same with money. A lot of people kind of give advice that spend and um, buy things that you wish you had, but I understand that the financial kind of freedom might not actually be there in your life. So what I would recommend if you're trying to tap into abundance is take the action of mentally connecting to abundance if it has to be related or like clean your house. It can be a different action, but with the intention that, okay, this action is flowing energy and moving stagnant energy. Now, this is obviously to be taken with a little bit of a grain of salt. I dive very, very deep into this in this week's episode, but I don't want you to feel the pressure that you have to take actions fully related to what you're manifesting or where you're trying to go. Like your actions can be unrelated and just as powerful. So I have some affirmations for us to kind of help you take intentional action. The first one is taking intentional action is easy for me. I wanted to really amplify the word ease because I think sometimes we just get lazy Um, speaking from personal experience here. So I wanted to just say that like getting things done is easy. The next one is I know what steps to take and I enjoy taking them. I sometimes have a grand to-do list and I never finish it. And it's a very like self-defeating state to be in. So one of the things I worked on all of 2023 was like doing the things I say I was going to do and just creating the inner fire and inner sense of self and inner discipline to actually take the steps I say I want to take and being gentle with yourself, not trying to tackle everything in an hour um, and try and overcompensate, but take a small step. Like the small steps are actually the big steps. And the last affirmation is, I love the way I feel after doing something I've chosen to do. This one came from straight from the heart. I mean, I have finally gotten my five years into having my own business. I finally have a sense of doing what I say I'm going to do and doing what feels good to me while having fun and like actually hitting them on time. Like that overall just feels so good. And from a business and abundant state, I am the most abundant I have been. And it feels like so connected because I am taking small little actions every day that really add up. And it feels really, really nice to finally hit the different desires and different manifestations that I've been calling in for a while because of the action and the intentional action I've actually paired with it. So those are our three affirmations. Let's repeat them together. Taking intentional action is easy for me. 
I know what steps to take and enjoy taking them. I love the way I feel after doing something I've chosen to do. Taking intentional action is easy for me. I know what steps to take and enjoy taking them. I love the way I feel after doing something I've chosen to do. And feel free to do another round of this. And this intentional action can apply from anything to being consistent in a spiritual practice to diving deeper into a task that you've been pushing off for months. It can apply to anything. And I really, really hope this helps you. I will see you next week. Bye.